everyone, welcome to Arishal's Art World. This is Shilpa aka Arishal's from www.arishal's.com And in this video, I am sharing with you all one of my guilty pleasures. Yes, my huge art supplies haul. And such guilty pleasures happen when I go to the art store to just buy one little art supply that I am running out of. And you know, somehow by magic or I don't know by... I mean, I don't know how, you know, that one little thing that I have to buy multiplies into a huge bucket of art supplies. I don't know how that happens, but you know, that leads to such hauls. And I am so very excited to share with you all the things that I got and give you a little demo of everything. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get started. So first I got this cute little scissor by Fabricaster. I got this for my art desk and this is not a normal scissor. You know, this scissor has this mechanical uh, dark blue thing over it which makes you know cutting with it very very comfortable so that is why i got this scissor i am not able to explain this in a better way but i hope you can uh, understand by the look of it next i got these bunch of erasers and these are apsara non-dust erasers and when they say non-dust they really mean it it's serious business this is one of the best erasers and it does not create a lot of mess and i got a bunch of these because you know there is a monster in my house that comes at night you know and it just eats away all my erasers one by one that is why i got these bunch of erasers and then i got a bunch of pencils as well and this is again by the brand apsara next i got this signo uniball white gel pen which you know is super smooth and it works excellently on my acrylic paints so i absolutely love them for my art journaling and these are the only white pens i use ever i have tried others as well but this is one of my favorites so if you're looking for a good white pen to work on your acrylics then definitely go in for this uniball gel pen and even in the demo you can see how amazing and smooth it is and i seem to buy these gel pens in all my hauls if you have not seen my previous hauls i will put the link to my previous hauls as well in the down bar so you can check out and next i got a pack of highlighters in all five fluorescent colors as you can see right here and like normal people i don't use these highlighters on my books to highlight important things no i am not normal i am an artist so i got these highlighters to work with them on my sketchbook like you can see right over here you know while i'm working on sketchbook i don't want i mean i don't like to uh, use my regular stuff my regular pens i would like to experiment with all different stuff and when i saw these highlighters although i did not go to the art store to buy these but when i saw these highlighters somehow somehow they magically dropped into my basket and i just you know had to get them you have to you know honor the magic right anyways anyways <laughs> next if you follow me on instagram or facebook you must have already seen this i got these micron pens yes my first ever pigma micron pens i had heard so much about them by now that i uh, could not resist not to have them and you know these were the only thing that i went to art store for you know these pens are the only things that i had visited the art store for but then you know as i have told you once again magic happens mistakes happen guilty pleasures happen and everything happened but anyways let's come back to our micron pigma pens and this is a set of six pens ranging from the number 005 and as the number goes up the thickness of the pens as well go up and these are also for my black and white pen and ink sketches yes i love sketching and if you once again follow me on my facebook or instagram uh, you know in between i kind of post a lot of direct pen sketches that you all seem to like so next i got these 
watercolor cakes by Camlin and these are very very cheap like this entire set was for 60 rupees which is like less than one dollar and I got this because I wanted to film a cheap art supplies challenge yes that's a very cheap art supply and I am kind of reluctant to use such things I mean I know I don't really go in for such cheap things because you know when I make art I want to you know either sell it or maybe I give it to someone so I really don't use cheap stuff but you know just for my cheap art supplies challenge I got those watercolor cakes as you can see and next I got this correction pen by Faber Castell and once again normal people use such correction pens to you know correct their mistakes while they are writing but once again I'm not normal I'm an artist so these pens are for me for doodling in my sketchbook for putting highlights on things in my sketchbook and just to play around this correction pen is not to correct things this correction pen is to play around to make a mess and that's what I love to do. Okay, so next I got two of these acrylic paints. And both of them are by Basics Liquidex. One is primary red and the other one is neutral grey. I follow so many art channels on YouTube and I have seen so many people from US using Liquidex Basic and you know just raving about them. So I was always fascinated by this brand and how these acrylic colors must be but i never had them because i live in india and in india you never used to get them so near my house there is this huge huge art store newly opened and they keep all international brands as well so you know as soon as i saw that they had a huge huge range of liquidex uh, basics and i was like no i need to try some although you know my stash of acrylic paints is completely kind of overflowing i don't need any more acrylic paints but i really really needed to try liquidex basics because i have been watching so many people use them on internet so you know i got them and i absolutely i have to tell you absolutely love them and next i got some of these amazing knives with various textures these are uh, knives that are used to create textures on your painting the first knife that i got it looks like this and i'm just you know giving you a demo on uh, how all my knives work right and you know i just can't wait to you know use these for textures on my paintings as well Next I got these camels texture white which is just a texture paste with the consistency of gesso and it is used to give you know thick 3D effects on our painting you know a 3D effects on the canvas so I'm planning a complete class dedicated to mixed media work for my Artisha's Art Academy so for that class I got this texture paste by Camlin as well you know because I wanted to create some 3D textures on the painting for that class next I got some amazing Bustro watercolor papers Brustro Bustro Brustro okay next I got some amazing Brustro watercolor papers in three different sizes and I have been using watercolor papers ever since I was a teenage girl and by now I know how important a good quality watercolor paper is when you're working with watercolors so you know I've worked and tried out so many watercolor papers and by far I have to tell you Brustro is one of my favorite absolute favorite brands in watercolor papers and you know the painting that you're looking right here the both the artworks that you're looking right here have been done on this paper from where you can get all that i will try and put all the links in the down bar next i got these prints of my paintings yes this is the print of my paintings recently i've been trying out various companies to make prints of my paintings and this is one of the companies that i tried out to make prints and how they 
work but I really liked the quality of the print that came out and I really liked the color as well but one thing that I did not like about these prints that they did not have a white border already along with the print so that's why I dropped the idea of getting my prints done with this company but then I even found Society6 and I found their quality to be absolutely awesome you know exactly the way I want my prints to be for you all and if you are looking for some good quality artificial prints then do check out my society 6 shop the link to my society 6 shop will be right there in the down bar and then I got this Oxford sketchbook yes I am obsessed with collecting sketchbook I have so many sketchbook I just fill out half of it and then I have to have a new one anyways I got this Oxford sketchbook and I am once again in love with it and it has this little closure on one side and I've already started working on it as well and it is quite thick and it has really amazing paper as well and next I got these two different sizes of masking tape and then I got some Tamlin artist grade watercolor which I have already started using and I have used in this artwork that I made on Bustro paper, I used these three colors for this artwork and you know even they work very well, very very nicely pigmented, very good quality, very affordable and really awesome. And then you must be already knowing I got these camels brush pens or watercolor brush pens because I already did this painting right here and I even did a review of these watercolor brush pens recently and if you have not checked both of these videos then I'll put the link to these videos as well in the down bar. Next I got this watercolor landscape step by step by Milan Mulek. Yes, Milan Mulek, the god of watercolors. Ever since I was in college, I have been following the works of Milan Mulek and he has never ever failed to inspire me. His colors, the hold of his brush, you know, his composition, perspective, the way uh, the paint flows while the brush is in his hand is absolutely amazing. And you know, it has some amazing, amazing tips going on in the entire book and you know, some amazing demonstrations and yeah, it's a really nice book. Next, I have the super awesome, super amazing JBL headphones which belonged to my father-in-law but he was not using it. So he gave them to me and they are absolutely new. So I don't mind and they work so amazing. The sound quality of this thing is awesome. And so once again, if you want to buy these or anything else that I am showing you from my haul, I will try to find links to where you can get them from. And I will put those links in the description bar. So don't forget to check that out. Next, I got these soft pastels by camel and says that they are brighter and smoother and they are in 36 shades so i got these soft pastels because one of my subscribers by the name rose ferrati said i wonder if you have a video doing something like this but with pastel chalks I have a new set but never used them. I'd love to do something like this with them. And I told her that I don't have any of the videos in pastels. But I promised her that I would bring some videos for her demonstrating how to work with soft pastels. So that is why I got these soft pastels by Camlin. And I got this 36 shades one because I like you know getting directly bigger packs you know with all the shades rather than getting uh, small packs which is cheap but with less colors so i would rather go for you know more colors no matter if it's a bit expensive and i love the packaging of it and then to give you a bit demonstration on how they work I am making a little eye over here and over here I am just you know trying out various colors of the soft pastels in this little demonstration that I am doing for you to show you how they work and how amazing they are and if you want I can you know do a complete uh, separate video doing a complete review on the soft pastels but one thing is for sure that you are absolutely going to get a few videos here and there 
demonstrating and explaining all the techniques that go into working with these soft pastels i think i'm working with soft pastels over here after 15 years and it's so nostalgic you know i am going back in the memory lane and i'm missing how much i loved working with them so you know definitely expect a few tutorials using these soft pastels on this channel in the future so do subscribe if you haven't already because you need to subscribe to be updated for my tutorials and last but not the least i got this camels artist fixative for pastels charcoals and pencils this is a spray that we use after working with um pastels or chalks or pencils so if you're working with such soft pastels Pastels, you need this fixative. You know what this fixative does? It just solidifies all the chalk on the paper and just sticks all the chalk and all the elements of the pencil on the paper. So they just stay like that forever. And you know all the chalk and the artwork that we made it just you know just sticks to it as you can see right here. So that is it for my huge art supplies haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to share it on your Facebook. And I would really appreciate if you do let me in the comments below what was your favorite art supply that I got. For my originals, don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. And for my very affordable and super high quality prints, don't forget to check out my Society6. And all my social media links too will be right there in the down bar. And the winner to this original art by me her name i have put in the description so don't forget to check out the description as well congratulations to you and do contact me as soon as possible so that i can ship you the original artwork so till i see you next time bye and happy creating bye